How you doing everybody? This is the Pop Music Freak back with another reaction video. I am up to number 961 on my countdown of the top 1,000 favorite songs of all time. It is a one-hit wonder by a British band that was very much on the cusp of the cutting edge of music and technology at the time. The uh, 1979 they recorded this song and forever changed the way we look at music. <laughs> that may be a very broad, you know, declarative statement, but it is true. There would probably the influence on everything that happened in the 80s is definitely felt by this song. Why? The first video ever played on MTV. I am talking about, of course, The Buggles, and video killed the radio star. How prophetic was this song? <laughs> No, 961 on my list, I probably should have ranked it a little higher. In terms of influence on things, it's definitely up there. Very high up there. All right, so let me tell you what the story was about. Who was involved and what happened. Video Kill the Radio Star is a song written by Trevor Horn, Jeff Downs, and Bruce Woolley in 1979. It was recorded concurrently by Bruce Woolley in the camera club with Thomas Dolby on keyboards for their album English Garden and also recorded by British New Wave synth-pop group The Buggles, which consisted of Horn and Downs, and initially Woolley. The Buggles' version of the track was recorded and mixed in 1979, released as their debut single on September 7, 1979, by Island Records, and included on their first album, The Age of Plastic. Backing track was recorded at Virgin's Townhouse in West London, and mixing and vocal recording was done at Sarm East Studios. Song relates to concerns about and mixed attitudes towards 20th century inventions and machines for the media arts. Musically, the song performs like an extended jingle, and the composition plays in the key of D-flat major in common time at a tempo of 132 beats per minute. Track has been positively received, with reviewers praising its unusual musical pop elements. Although the song includes several common pop car characteristics and six basic chords are used in its structure, Downs and writer Timothy Warner described the piece as musically complicated due to its use of suspended and minor ninth chords for enhancement that gave the song a slightly different feel. On release, the song topped 16 international music charts, including those in the UK, Australia, and Japan. It also peaked in the top 10 in Canada, Germany, New Zealand, and South Africa, but only reached reach number 40 in the U.S., the accompanying vid music video was written, directed, and edited by Muscle McCahey, Russell McCahey. It was the first music video shown on MTV in the U.S., airing at 12.01 a.m. on August 1st, 1981, and the first video shown on MTV Classic in the U.K. on March 1st, 2010. The song has received several critical accolades, such as being ranked number 40 on VH1's 100 Greatest One-Hit Wonders of the 80s. It has also been covered by many recording artists. Oh, his background on the group, The Buggles, which formed in 1977, first consisted of Trevor Horn, Jeff Downs, and Bruce Woolley. They all wrote Video Kill the Radio Star in an hour of one afternoon in 1978, six months before it was recorded. Together in Downs' apartment, located above the monumental stonemasons in Wimbledon Park, London, the piece was built up from a chorus lift riff developed by Woolley. Uh, it is one of three Buggle songs that Woolley insisted in writing, the two others being Clean Clean and On TV, an early demo of a song featuring Horn's then-girlfriend Tina Charles on vocals, uh, helped the group get signed to Island Records to record and release their debut album, The Age of Plastic, as well as producing and writing for the label after Down's girlfriend, who worked for Island, managed to get a play to executives there. Woolley left during recording to form his own band, The Camera Club which did their own version of video as well as Clean Clean for their album English Garden. Horn has said that J.G. Ballard saw a story to Sound Sweep in which the title character, a mute boy vacuuming up stray music in a world without it, comes upon an opera singer hiding in a sewer providing inspiration for video, and he felt an era was about to pass. Horn claimed that Kraftwerk was another influence of the song. It was like you could see the future when you heard Kraftwerk, Something new is coming, something different. Different rhythm section, different mentality. So we had all of that, myself and Bruce, and we wrote the song probably six months before we recorded it. 
In a 2018 interview, Horn stated, I read J.G. Ballard and had this vision of a future where record companies would have computers in the basement and manufacture artists. I've heard Kraftwerk's The Man Machine and video was coming. You could feel things changing. All the tracks of the age of plastic deal with positives and concerns of the impact of modern technology. The theme of video killed the radio star is thus nostalgia, with the lyrics referring to a period of technological change in the 1960s, the desire to remember the past, and, and the disappointment that children of the current generation would not appreciate the past. The lyrics relate to concerns of the varied behaviors towards 20th century technical inventions and machines used and changed in media arts such as photography, cinema, radio, television, audio and recording, and record production. According to Horn, the band initially struggled to come up with a line to follow the song's opening. I heard you on a wireless back in 52. <laughs> Eventually came up with lying awake intent at tuning in on you, inspired by memories of listening to Radio Luxembourg at night as a child. Woolley worried about the uh, song's name, given the existence of a band with the name Radio Stars and a song called Video King by singer Snipes. Um, no, uh, development and composition of the song. The Buggles version of Video Kill the Radio Star is a new wave synth pop song. It performs like an extended jingle, sharing its rhythm characteristics with disco. The piece plays in common time at a bright tempo of 132 beats per minute. It is in the key of D major, with, and six basic chords were used in the song's chord pro progression. Um, so that's basically give you a basic gut rundown on that. Uh, commercial performance. A video killed the radio star was a huge commercial success, reaching number one in 16 different countries, as I mentioned earlier. Only hit number 40 in the USA, though. Uh, but Billboard th had a, thought it was a top single pick from in the November 3rd, 1979 issue. Uh, felt that it is definitely futuristic and nostalgic at the same time, which is very hard to do in a pop record. Well, that's true. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, the video, of course, was very, uh, very, um, you know, let's just say it was, it looked like it was 1979. <laughs> but there was some, a lot of futuristic uh, effects involved in the video. And, uh, very interesting uh, concept too, naturally, which fit the song's theme, certainly. All right, so let's see. Uh, anyone else that's well known that's involved in the song? Well, Trevor Horn, of course, ended up being a big time producer in the 1980s. Uh, Hugh Padnam, who was involved with engineering the song, ended up being a big engineer and producer in the 80s as well. He worked with the police later on. All right, so my friends, I think that's about it. Uh, it is definitely one of the most successful and famous one-hit wonders that the, ever existed. Uh, it's on every one-hit wonder countdown probably ever been, uh, for good reason. <laughs> All right, so that's about it. That's my rundown of Video Killed the Radio Star, number 961 on my list. Uh, if you want to see the music video, I know a lot of you are dying to see it. <laughs> Uh, there's a link in my description. Uh, I hope you share this video. I hope you like the video. And of course, as I say every time, I need subscribers. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that button. Get on board. <laughs> all right. So thank you, folks, my friends. And I wish you all peace and love and a very good day.